hello let us now see how to use uh, this uh, digital slate using a uh, one note for this what you have to do is one note when i write like this if you feel that this is not clear enough you can choose you can see if you just hold here you can see a pen black blue green like this you don't have to touch you can just keep it closer to the slate and you can choose any of these or you can choose the options from here also so now let us see suppose i choose a pen blue pen or you can also choose from here if you hold here you can see a color palette and wait first test whether the tone and other things are they clear enough for you if you feel that they are clear enough fine now you have tested if you are happy with it okay so go to this you have small eraser like this then you can choose a medium one like this it goes then large depends on which application you are using accordingly you can do so suppose you take stroke erase this this also you erase okay again press come back to the pen so i think uh, the weight of uh, 1.5 i think is enough so go back to the pen now let us see this is a one note this one note is used along with a digital slate if you feel that this weight is enough fine otherwise you can also choose uh, let us say one i think this is better so what you do is go back remove all this very easy to erase press the pen choose the weight again you have to press otherwise the previously selected only will come so using a digital slate along with ms one no this is also like your ms office uh, ms office Uh, software, as you have Word, Excel, and all OneNote also is available. Now, you are able to see some rules here. Ruled notebook. How do you choose that? You can see different menus here. Go to Format, Rule Lines. If you choose this, it becomes. You can even take the color also. Purple color. The narrow lines are coming. Suppose I choose. broader it is becoming then wide ruled can you see the rules becoming wider then you can choose a small grid for a graph sheet if you want to draw something you can use that uh, then uh, large grid so these are all the different uh, formats in which you can do let me just start with this or maybe even little narrow or also is okay this is rising better now another option that i would like to tell you here is you have an option you can even go here it becomes you know a full uh, scale here if you press you can add or remove buttons these are all the different buttons so now suppose i say i ask it convert it into see whatever i have written using a digital slate along with ms one note you don't have to type you are writing and automatically this is getting you uh, know converted into the text so now let us see uh, suppose you want to go back to this to be able to see all these menus format list 
you can give this space here or you can also insert or format bullets bullets are coming so now let us say this is a very useful tool so i told you add or remove buttons or you can even go to this so that you can better see this is a very useful tool it's getting converted and what is other this is one this thing another one is this is very useful for writing mathematical equations if you feel if the students can understand your handwriting if they if it is comfortable you leave it or you convert it into this okay now if you want after some time if you feel like changing the color of the pen you can do so you can use this for graph plotting so if you want you can convert graph plotting so now how do you write these equations for writing these equations let us see blue color i think looks better your mathematical equations d squared something like plus k dy by dx plus p is equal to 0 and if you want to draw some graph you can just draw okay if you want to draw a sine wave if you want to explain something with the help of graphs also you will be able to do this now here you press this it will go to the next page go up whatever you have written is there you can go down by pressing can you see a button here with this you can do now what are the other things that you can do this is how you will be writing these equations and you know how to erase it these are the two things that you have seen you can draw a line you can see a menu here draw a line if you want you can change the weight to this see the line has become broader you can draw an arrow you can change it without if you don't release and put it you can even change whichever way you want you can just rotate it after you feel where it has to be given leave the cursor then uh, you can add double arrow you can add no arrow single arrow double arrow so you have to choose what you want this way i am going down then uh, this is a single arrow okay if you want you can change the color what else a double arrow like this you can add a rectangular you can add a triangle different shapes whatever you want to do so what is the advantage of this okay let me go down if you want to highlight something first draw this use your pen reduce the thickness to 1 suppose you want to write something solve the pro 
problems or simplify whatever you want the expression something like some question if you want to give and if you want to highlight you can make use of these things so these are the added advantages of this next you can also uh, i've showed you about this you can draw oval okay and if you draw it in a more carefully it becomes even a circle then you can have two dimensional two dimensional full okay let me choose some other color three dimensional okay also what else you have same thing so this way you can do any other things this will be very convenient for you to do these things you can add shapes you can add arrows you can add axes coordinate axis and do it so this way you can go back to the normal you can choose the pen you can save it file you can save it you can publish the page you can send it as a email and other things and very convenient for you to do this you can also insert a picture suppose i you, you already have a picture which is stored into your desk onto your computer bring that picture here and you need not draw that picture once again if it is already saved okay let me show you this is some picture which i'll be using in my class so let me if you want to see it uh, completely go to a full scale full page full page yeah now i think it is clear enough adjust the screen so that the students will be able to capture the entire screen now if you want to explain something on this you can write something on this so what you do is you highlight it uh, let me just uh, give small uh, here so no let me i'm not happy with this so i'll erase this now as you can see you have different colors here it's a counter which i'll be explaining in my classes so you have uh, three uh, one two three four leds of four different colors i want to explain what they are after explaining the circuit so what i do is i choose the same color as is given here so that you can associate better uh, so let me choose a blue one here this is a red one so let me choose a red color for that okay okay then this is green so let me choose some green color and this this is something an orange orange okay now let me write something like you know i'll be writing this uh, some d0 this is d1 d2 d3 the power of this is 2 to the power 0 to power 1 2 to power 2 to power 3 something i want to explain the counter it will be counting and this is how the count sequence is coming so this is how you can uh, take a picture explain the working you need not draw it and do this now there is one more option of you know let's me let me go back to the original one insert or table 